on the files to install the HANA database here. So how to download the softwares in the SAP marketplace as part of the software requirements? How many editions SAP is available? HANA is available. Total three editions: platform edition, enterprise edition, extended enterprise edition here. So platform edition is the standard version. Everybody will use the platform edition here, right? In the platform edition, we have to download it. Same way, how we will download the SAP softwares. So we have to go to the service marketplace, download the SAP softwares. Then we have to download the SAP uh, database client. Those will come as part of the software requirements. Also, we discussed about the hardware requirements also, right? What are the hardware we required, <coughs> right? So hardware means, so Intel CPUs, as well CPUs are later are recommended and also network bandwidth, what are the file systems, how many file systems, their space recommendations, sizing, RAM, CPUs, right? So all those things, we, we have to purchase the hardware from the, the uh, certified hardware vendors only. So we can get from the Intel, so HP, Lenovo, from the from there we have to procure the hardware here right so these things <clears throat> these things so we discussed till now right so today then how to log into the hana here so to hana to install the hana database to install the hana database so everyone desktop there is a putty right we have to use the putty here to log into the linux mission to log into the linux mission you need a putty putty tool is required here to use a putty tool is required here just to go to the putty here <clears throat> then sap hana sap hana you have to so your host name here linux host name you have to use it here so once again to log into the linux operating system it's not that much of easy so windows we know right click and left click and log in and delete create all those things we can do it here. Anything we can do it to create the folder, to delete the folder, all those things we can do it from here, but not like that. So Linux, Linux OS, right? Operating system. Anna, we can only install on the, so Linux operating system only. Linux operating system only, we can only install the, so Hana database here. So in the Hana, so <clears throat> log into the, sorry, Linux operating system, you need to use the putty here. Here, you need to type the SAP Linux one is our host name of the, is our host name of the, our uh, Linux, okay? The, our Unix or Linux here. Here you can enter the host name or IP also you can enter it here. So normally for Windows, <coughs> we will get the host name like, you know, go to the this PC properties, here you will get the, yes, your host name is, our computer name is SAP Windows 1. So, but here SAP Linux 1, here you have to enter it here. Then click on the open, click on the open here. Then it will ask the login as user, means root. Then password. So just type the password here, but it won't show here. It won't show here. So it will be hidden status. Then once you correctly enter, click on enter button. Then here it will show the, <coughs> here it will show the output here. You are successfully logged in. So like that, it will show the output here, right? Just here, here what we have to do. So Linux, this is the Linux operating system. We logged into the Linux operating system through Putty. Via Putty, we logged into the Linux operating system here. So to operate this Linux operating system, here we have to use the commands. So commands, we have to use it here. So Linux commands, we have to use it here. So commands bit. So here, few people are new to Linux operating system. So few people are already, they have experience in the Linux operating system, right? So how to log in, what are the commands, we have to use it, right? So here, so I will, I will, I will tell you the some basic commands here to learn the Linux here to operate the things on the Linux operating system, right? Once you log into the Linux operating system, you will get the prompt here. Like this, you will get the prompt here, which user you logged in and what is the operating system here. 
right you will get like this here right this is the command prompt here here you need to type the commands here suppose example <coughs> few commands which are very helpful to the as a basis consultant here right so linux commands some of the linux commands which are helpful for us here so suppose so df hyphen h df means display file systems display file systems here suppose in the windows if you want to display the drives if you go to the this this pc then you will see the c drive d drive e drive f drives and space how much space total how much free so all those information you will get here but linux by default you won't get here so here what you have to do you need to type all small letters df space space hyphen h hyphen no space so df space hyphen just h you will get the what are the file systems are available in your so your linux operating system here so these are the file systems it kind of drives c drive d drive e drive some of the drives are available here also it is available what is the size here what is the used percentage what is the available so what is the file system it's where it is mounted so all the information is available here all the information is available in this here it is mounted on the here right so it is mounted on the here right so this is the <clears throat> one of the command to check the as part of the day-to-day -day activity here we can check the uh is there any file system is reaching to the near to more than 90 percent or it's near to zero or something like that 100 percent full so we need to check it out as a basis consultant as part of our daily monitoring we need to check the your space file system space levels we need to check it out by using df command df just you can use the df but here you want to get some order wise you want to get some percentage wise fine but here so here byte wise it is showing here right so then just if you use the hyphen hash one order wise it will show here how much gbs this filling and everything here so right so that is the command we have to use it here here left click right click right click it won't work here okay just to, you have to use the commands to operate your linux admin linux operating system here suppose you want to check the memory then free iphone z it will give the what is the total ram size it is how much it is utilized then what is the next available here right so free iphone z so i have the one uh, good document to you to practice the linux commands that i will share with you so that we can practice it here okay so free iphone g <clears throat> it will give the so free information enough information what is the memory so all those things it will show here then so ls cpu ls cpu here ls cpu means <clears throat> it will give the cpu information right so what is the, your cpu architecture so then how many cpus are there here total six cpus are there here then each cpu how many cores sockets what is the cpu vendor intel then cpu family <coughs> all this information will be showed in the ls cpu command ls cpu command it will show the information right so that is the main thing here ls cpu and also here so if you want to go to one folder normally in the windows level you want to get all the information you will go to the task manager here you will see the cpu utilization like memory utilization so and also uh, percentage so all the information we will get it out here right so here also if you go to top command top command here you will get the so live cpu utilizations live memory utilization which cross is using the most of the memory so all the live utilization you will get it out here raw utilization live utilization you will get all those things from here so here the values are changing here the values are changing here so which means so live utilization is showing in the top command just the top top command just the top command it will show the information right so here <coughs> To come out of the, the screen, just press the control C. Here, control C means cancel button. Okay, cancel. 
so normally in our upper inverse level control c means copy right if i use the control c the copy right but here cancel button here in the operating system level it is the cancelled button it is the cancelled button here right so then so clear the screen will be cleared here means whatever the previously executed that screen will be cleared here right just you can enter the date right so what is the current date here user how many users are logged into the operating system three users are logged into this three root users right so this information right so you want to <coughs> you want to go to the some other folder then cd cd command cd slash cd slash suppose you want to go to the so there is a cd slash you are in the root user you are in the root folder then you want to display under the root cd means a change directory which means so you are in the cd root means uh, you are in the root folder you want to display what is there under the root folder then ls iphone ltr if you type it it will display the under the root under the root what are the folders and files are there here what are the folders and files are there here it will show here what are the folders and what are the directories and files are there here it will show the information here so under the root we have tmp run root etc so media usr hana many things are there many subfolders are there here suppose when you go to c drive you have lot of folders are there if you go to any one of the folder under the folder again you have the one more folder is there if we go to the here you have the one more folder if we go to here you have the one more folder if we go to the here one more folder is there how we have like this but here through mouse we are navigating right through mouse we are navigating from one folder to other folder other folder to one folder we are through here if you are clicking it will be opening here but it is the linux machine if you click it nothing will happen right if we click it nothing will happen here just to, so you need to if you want to go inside of the folder you need to use the cd you want to go to the media media you need to here enter it cd media then you are in the media folder here right you want to see what's there under the media folder then we can use the ls command if you type the ls command here if you type the ls command here so it will give the what are the files folders are there it will display but here how can you see which one is the folder which one is the file you cannot find it out that's why just find out the ls hyphen ltr it will give the clear information here okay so in this way here in this screen we can find out what is the folder what is the file here so if any folder if it is the any folder or any directory then the starting with the d d means directory if you don't have any d command d here that is not the folder that is not the directory that is the file that is the small file here right so like this we can find it out which one is the folder which one is the directory here here what is the directory and what is the folder how can you see here no right we cannot find out right here here we can find out so this is the directory right so just double click it it will be copy here cd you want to go inside of this folder directory then just click on the enter button then ls hyphen ltr you will go to the inside of the file here you want to come back then cd dot dot slash one dot dot slash means one back we go cd dot dot back one more back so like this we can come back we can go friend right cd dot dot here here left arrow right arrow you can click it out go back and come back but here no arrows nothing only commands will work here right so cd then ls hyphen ltr or ls commands ls commands to list out the files and the folders here to list out the files inside of the directory what are there you can list out here cd means change directory cd means change directory here right so these are the very important as a basic level basic level commands are very very important here right so then then so now you are in the 
so root 2 is there you want to go one more folder cd command and lsf and ltr this is the daily you have to use it each and every time here so here you will find out which one is the directory and these are the permissions so each file suppose this one this one having the a so this is the file why because there is no d in front then this is the permission r means read write execute read write execute then who is the owner of this file folder file folder who is the owner root who is the group who is the group right owner will be displayed here right but if you use the ls there is no much information here that's why listing ls and ltr it will show the display here right so you want to create one folder normally in the windows level to create one folder what we will do right click new folder or uh, file creation just create the file here but here it won't work i already told you but you have to we have to use the commands here so to create the folder mkdir make directory mkdir for so directory creation here so suppose you want to create the directory mkdir suppose like example ravi then ls hyphen ltr you see ravi folder is created here then go to cd ravi <coughs> then ls hyphen ltr here then so nothing is there so you created the one folder here that is called the ravi then you went to the inside of the folder then again cd command to the directory right so you want to create the file one text file then t o u t h touch so then text file dot t x t that is the naming convention right t x t touch touch is for <laughs> file creation touch is for file creation here so t o u t h touch t o u t h for file creations file creation you can use it here this is for so folder normally we will call folder or directory both are same directory creation right so basic commands basic commands here right so this way we can create it here so to create the user creation is not our responsibility so suppose you want to create the new user then user add user add then user add ravi then ravi user is created then what is the password reset here then p a s s w d so ravi then it is asking the new password here then i am resetting the password here then password is done then instead of root user i can use my own user ravi user to log into the linux operating system then so here you can type scp linux 1 right just to type the ravi then your password you can type it here then it will use it you logged in with the ravi user now right ravi user now like this also you can create it so for user creation this one but it's not our responsibility user creation and password reset linux team but basic commands which you are using right those are the our responsibility to do daily monitoring of the your operating system or your uh, file systems memory cpus checking right because on top of operating system we will install the database right this one on here we will install the our hana databases so here this is very important here to learn this linux and everything here right so this is the file creation and everything here so uh, are you on the same page we are getting confused to get to to discuss more further commands so are you guys are getting the linux commands you want to practice i can leave it otherwise i can tell you more commands some critical commands also <clears throat> here how many of don't know about the linux operating system don't worry here we are to learn here so no need to worry about that one sir we will practice sir. okay same for everyone right yes sir yes sir we are so what you can do just basic commands you can practice it that's fine why because some basic commands you required here why because to go to the full fledged uh, critical commands you will get uh, confused here so to avoid this one don't worry we are the slow also not to run to not to worry no rush 